The World Health Report of 2022 sounded an alarming note, revealing that a staggering 60% to 71% of Uganda's youth have fallen victim to the clutches of addiction. Konas Chaplin Uganda decided to take action with a mission to educate the public about the perils of drug abuse and to kindle the flames of patriotism for them homeland. The hope was that informed citizens would not only protect themselves but also contribute to the welfare of the nation. Details follow. Over 60 graduates had undertaken this rigorous training, arming themselves with knowledge and a sense of responsibility towards their society. Uh, the government of Uganda is unwilling to appreciate and greet our famous and uh, president who has been working not only for Uganda but even for Africa as well. They are supposed to bring hope. Africa is going to truce a lot of this. Turbans. And we believe that as a Christians, as believers, we must present the love of God in a practical way. We should not just sit in the church and shout hallelujah, amen. The graduation ceremony was not just a symbol of their academic achievements. It was a testament to their commitment to a brighter future free from the clutches of addiction. The event was graced by a distinguished guest, Commander Konas Africa General Kamdem Naunga, who shed light on the inspiration behind this critical training. He encouraged the graduates to serve their nations with unwavering dedication, free from fear or favor. People who love Uganda, we must walk side by side with the government to make sure that with the training that they are received, they'll be able to bring them out of this jail, out of this prison, and be able to, as responsible people, to help the government and uh, Ugandans to, for more development. The chairman, Konas Uganda, Alberto Ngam, emphasized the significance of this training in nurturing humanity among the citizens. It was not just about combating addiction. It was about fostering a sense of community and shared responsibility. It's a message to serve the nation, to fight for peace, and to free the children from the street of the nation, and to support the government of Uganda, to support their family to support the area because any authority is given by God. As the graduates celebrated their achievements, voices from the crowd resonated with hope and determination. They understood that they were not just individuals but a part of a larger tapestry. Because we are very much aware, no one decides to take a decision to use drugs without having a reason behind that. And uh, as Konase, what we do is to first understand what is the reason behind that, then later on we bring up solutions for that. Their journey was one of resilience and recovery, a promise of a future where the shadows of addiction would no longer loom. Uh, we have a plan and a program because we know that it is not easy to approach such kind of vice which has been there from a long time. We shall carry out campaigns, street campaigns. We shall invite these people, the victims who take drugs. We shall be able to reach out to them, talk to them, uh, bring them, bring their hearts back to us. When they accept, we take them to rehabilitation centers. Parliament recently passed a narcotic psychotropic substance control bill. All that remained was His Excellency Yoweri Kagutam Seveni to sign into law, marking a new chapter in the battle against addiction and protection of the nation's youth.